Hi guys, welcome to Daddy Dice Crafty Corner. Happy Thursday. Mm hmm. I think Thursday. All right, so I thought we would make a card together. I need to make a cute little birthday card. And I thought I would make a shaker card and I would just make the shaker instead of using one of the pre made shaker forms. And here's my idea. So we're just going to put it together together. We're gonna put it together together, guys. And I'm hoping this is a quick video and doesn't go on too long. I kind of have got the things out in front of me I want. We're going to be using um, this cute little mama elephant set. The balloons are already, everything's colored and this is already glossy accented. So this is a, a little cat. And um, we're gonna be using that. We're going to be using a piece of my favorite things, just um, the tiny hearts and brights. I'm going to be using the darker of the two green colors here. I have cut out my shaker card with the Lawn Fawn stitched ovals. I've used um, two of them, one from the large and one from the small set to make my um, cutout for my shaker card, you know, for the, what's the word I'm looking for? For the frame for the shaker card. And I've also used a white one and I've also cut out a piece of acetate, all right? I've also cut out a piece of fun foam to go in between, so we'll be doing that. And I've cut out a piece of white paper as well. So my idea is we're gonna use some sea beads, some little alphabets that spell out happy birthday. We're just gonna stick those in there. I had thought about putting some green glitter in there, but I think I'm just going to use the seed beads for the shaker portion. And I'm, we're going to distress, we're going to use distress ink and put a couple of clouds on here as well for the background. So let's go ahead and get started doing that. And then we'll just kind of put it together. So I've cut out my card just an eighth of an inch shy of being the five and a half by four and a quarter, my paper, my designer paper on top of a white Nina cardstock base because I like to have just that teeny bit of white showing, okay? So that that's already together. And let's go ahead and see how we can stencil. So I've got a piece of white Nina 80 pound cardstock and I'm gonna be using the lar this, the um, first My Favorite Thing clouds that came out. The other one I ordered, the smaller one I ordered, just going to be using this little, um, I use these quite a bit. These are the splatter guards from the Dollar Tree. You get two of them in a package for a dollar and they're just, you know, they're just the right size when you're doing something small like this, just to set on your mat. Okay, so let's see. I'm not going to be doing a lot of inking here, just a little bit. I just want to give some clouds to this image real quick and then hopefully we can assemble it. I just ordered my new reinker for my, after three years, I finally am running dry on my tumbled glass. I use this all the time and I ordered the reinkers and all my blues today because I'm going to be doing a canvas with those turtles and um, an ocean background. I'm gonna actually be doing a canvas to hang up into my office with a little, with turtles and um, like that card I made because I like it so much. Oh, I might have needed to use a different color blue though, but we're gonna go with it. But I think I could have used a little darker blue on this one. Mm, I think I'm gonna turn it around completely. Or maybe just flop it over. And I'm going to do this one just like this.
I'm going to do a bigger one down here. That's pretty. I really, really, really enjoy this stencil, guys. If you haven't already tried it, you know what? It's super inexpensive. And it makes the whole cloud um whole cloud making thing so much easier. And I like it. I you know, I love playing with my distress inks anyway. Um oh no. I almost goofed that one up, guys. And I'm gonna go one more, I think. Maybe. Maybe, maybe just like that. Perfect. And then I'm going to leave the bottom white for our little detail to show through. Maybe we'll do one more coming off to this side right here. Um, how should I do that? What do you think, guys? Like right there? Why not, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just like, yeah, 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 yeah. Christian says that now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's not what I want, though. I want this part to be white. All right, let's see how that's going to look. I keep moving this stencil because I didn't tape it down. We'll just do this real this one real light. That's pretty. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. So here where I live yesterday, we had last night, all night long, we had such bad, 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 bad thunderstorms all night long. It was horrible. Really, really bad. You know, it's the kind of lightning, the kind of thunder that shakes your entire house. Okay, well that's where we're going to end that. Oh, I would have liked to have gotten just a little bit more right there. Let's try that. Okay. All right, so there's our clouds. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And that's pretty much the hardest part of this card for me. I love how those clouds turned out. Love, love, love. All right, so this is not going to be super dimensional. All I'm really going to do is um, just ad adhere, adhere the, the paper to the card. So anyway, going back to the thunderstorm last night, that's why I can't talk today. I'm, I'm dropping everything. It's like, oh, I had no sleep. I was shaken to my core, and it lasted for hours i mean well well into the early morning hours it was still going on at three o'clock this morning it would let up for just a little bit just enough for you to fall asleep and then bam it would start back in again was terrible I was talking to my daughter susie today and she's got the two dogs romeo and rufus and she said she was up all night with the dogs the dogs couldn't get calmed down i mean it would start up and all right, so that's gonna go there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and build everything onto this piece and then we're going to attach this down to the card, okay? So this little white piece is actually gonna be going on the, no, it's not, it's extra. This is my white piece. See, I told you. Ugh, all right. So I'm going to attach my fun foam onto here and then I'm going to attach a piece of white cardstock cut out on top of that because I don't like attaching the fun foam to this acetate. That's just my thing. I think it slides around too much. It takes too long 
to adhere. Sometimes it shows through. The, I think the fun foam is just a little harder to work with. So I'm going to put my fun foam right onto my um, base. I got a little bit of glue there. We're going to have to clean up and use our little tool because we don't want anything sticking. I just like to go through and make sure that I've got it lined up perfectly so that on the card itself it doesn't look wonked, you know? Because the fun foam actually can lose its shape when you cut it, you know? And that's another reason why I like to use a little piece of cardstock to give it some stability. And also it helps me to really see where that fun foam needs to be. So let me just kind of go ahead and get that all lined up real quick. And see right here, my fun foam was not lined up. So we're going to go ahead and push that in while everything's still wet. Good. So really all I'm doing is I'm creating this little well where all of our stuff is going to sit. And I'm going to attach it on the top of my card base. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I got something stuck in my drawer. Okay, so any place here where I see a little bit of glue, I'm going to come through with my Teflon bone, fold, bone folder and remove it. The reason I like to use my Teflon bone folder to do that is nothing sticks to this thing. This is by far one of the best products I've purchased because seriously, nothing, nothing sticks to it. It doesn't crease your paper. It's just so lovely. Okay, so now we've got that. I'm also going to take my white eraser or my gum eraser. I think I'm just going to use my white eraser. And I'm just going to, real quick, just right where that glue was, just kind of do a little eraser around it. Okay. All right, and then before we go much further, I'm gonna rub my little embossing buddy here around there as well, just to make sure there's no stickies around there. And then I'm just gonna kind of shake it out all right, and now I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, that's cute. I like that. But let's turn it around the right way, right, guys? Like that. All right, so let's go ahead and fill it up and see what I think. I'm using some sea beads. Because I think that when you're dealing with small children, they really, really like the movement, right? I just want to see if that's going to be enough and how it's going to fit in my... See, it's sticking to that because I didn't put anything on that. But we're going to. All right, let's go ahead and, oh, that's what happens if you don't put your little, you don't rub your little tool on there. And I have to tell you that I never liked to do this because I always thought it put it, it made it cloudy, and it does, it does make it cloudy. And then I am also going to put one more layer, right? That's why I cut out two of these. I'm going to put one more layer on this card underneath there because I need a little more room for those beads. So really I could have used two and I wish I had done this before I put the beads in there, but I didn't. So we're going to have to go with it. And I probably should have done it in white, but I didn't do that either. And see right there, we already got a bead that's got glue on it. Come on away from there, guy. 
Now you are going to get the beads that are going to get stuck and that's all right. Remember, this is a handmade craft, guys. It's supposed to be a handmade craft. I'm just going to make sure they're all... I got a bunch of them that are wanting to whoop up together and I'm not wanting them to do that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and dump my happy birthday right in there. Just like that. And we're going to kind of spread it out. I don't want anything. I probably should have used the glitter on this one. I'm going to go ahead and attach our frame to the top of this. My hands are just a little bit shaky today too. <laughs> That's that lack of sleep, guys. And you know what? I didn't sleep the night before either because I was cleaning my calf, my my calf room. I was cleaning my craft room and I had a a disaster. <laughs> it wasn't really a disaster. It was a disaster for me. My very favorite Simon Says stamp um, my very favorite Simon Says stamp flower stamp set when I went to put everything away from watercoloring it had been out for a few days was missing and I had cleaned the entire room. It was still missing. Um, I couldn't find it anywhere. I'd pretty much given up hope I was going to find it. And then today I went through the garbage bag and it was stuck to a piece of cellophane. So I was very happy. I found, oh, look at that. We still got static. Ugh. All right. That's okay. I actually don't mind. If some of them stick on there, I just didn't really want it to happen before I got everything glued down, you know? So I think I'm just going to try to shake a little bit of that on there, maybe. Ooh! I don't know what that powder is that's in there, but it's nasty smelling. All right, let's try to glue this down now. trying to keep it on the cardboard and I'm trying to keep this in your view <laughs> all right we only got a couple until the end but that's okay I'm hoping all that powder now that's in there flies away goes to the bottom it's kind of cool the way the letters are coming up to the top though I have to say I didn't plan that, but it is super cute. All right, so there's our little shaker. I like the way the letters are kind of sticking. That's cool. Okay, perfect. Now let's just kind of make sure that everything is a little more even. And then I'm just going to kind of press this down a little bit. All right, so we've already got a card base. So all we have to do now is just put our little shaker element on the top and I'm going to use the same glue this art glitter glue that's really all I use guys every once I'll use foam tape but mostly art glitter glue is the way I go and we're going to go ahead and set that in the middle making sure our clouds are facing up I actually like the contrast of blue with that green quite a bit and I wasn't sure when I did it Make sure that we're even here. We're a little Cali wonked. Okay. Still got great. And now let's add our little kitty. All right, so we're going to be adding a little bit of foam to our kitty because our kitty's going to be hanging off and on. So about right there, I think. So I'm just using up the rest of my 3M Scotch tape right now. I have a bigger roll. I'm not sure how big I need this, so let's cut it in half. And see again where we're putting him. He's going to go here. So part of the balloons and part of the cat. It's going to go right there. 
And we're going to put another piece on top of it. Let's see how that does. Perfect. And then we'll go ahead and do part of the balloon. Wasn't that easy, guys? I say that. I haven't looked at the time, but hmm? this so could have taken 100 bajillion years, right? All right. I think we've done it. Now, what I'm not sure of is should I put a little bit of glue? I don't think I'm going to need to. Yeah, I think I'm fine. And there we go, guys. I think that's super cute and super fun for a small child. Oh, those ABCs really like to stick. It's actually kind of cool. They kind of stick on there. So kind of cute, right? All right, so that's how we did that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have to say, I'm always a little nervous when I'm doing a tutorial um, on film a little bit. And on top of that, a little bit of no sleep here, but I think we did pretty good. I will see you guys in a little bit for video number two. Bye.